Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. In the words of the famous rapper, today was a good day. No barking from the dog, no smog. And mama cooked the breakfast with no hog. <laughs> That's the lyrics. <laughs> don't, don't quite work when I say it, does it? Um, in the background, let's try and get a nice wide shot. We're doing this all on the main cam. We're not on potato cam, so it's crystal clear. But it doesn't like being moved around. Um, I'm getting too used to using smartphones and stuff like that. Now, you can probably see the car's looking amazing. It's been at the body shop for a few months, and they've been doing tons of work on it. Um, I've paid the money to have a proper respray, as well as just a full respray on a car. It's not a blowover. It's not my mate's body shop that does amazing work for a thousand pounds. No, they don't. No, they don't. You can't do a good spray on a car, good refinish on a car for a thousand pounds. You have to take the car to bits. Uh, there was lots of corrosion issues. We've got a new boot lid on the car. Um, windows, glass has all been out uh, all around the car. Lots of work's been done. Uh, lots of man hours have gone into this, um, gone into this car and uh, very difficult work doing full resprays. Don't, a lot of places don't want to do it. It's just not really worth their time because of the amount of hours versus how long it takes to do a quick respray of a part and blend it in, you know. It's very difficult, it's a lot of work. So it's half the battle is finding somewhere that will take it on and do a good job. And I think, I think they've done a fantastic job here. It's done by Dukes Motors in Chichester. Now I know most of the spray shops in the area, you know, I've maybe used them and stuff like that. I hadn't used Dukes before, but I heard good things. I wanted to pay the money rather than, I could have taken it to some other places that would have done me a few favors. Um, you know, or even done some videos with um, spray shops that were, were kindly offering when we had the club sport and it needed a full respray. I didn't want to do any of that. I just wanted to be a normal customer and pay the, the you know, I wanted to get a good price. I did try and shop around and I haven't gone with the most expensive or the cheapest. I've gone with the one that I thought would do the best job for the money and I wanted to pay the money, um, you know, rather than do some sort of promotional thing because... If you're a customer and there's problems, then it's a much more formal position. Whereas if it's some arrangement, there's problems, things can just go silly. So unlike most YouTubers, you know, I want to pay. <laughs> they could, you know, if anyone out there that likes respraying my cars and paying me, <laughs> give me a message. <laughs> there probably is some out there as well. But yeah, I want to pay. Now let's get on to the car. Um, now, the thing that you can't always expect, detail. Uh, Body works, body shops to do is finish out paintwork on cars like detailers would. But the first thing I noticed about this car when I got it home and got the light on it, let's take the camera off the tripod. Bear with me. Oh, oh, oh. Let's just swing the viewfinder around. The first thing I noticed, it rained as well, which was so there's little smudges and things on the car from where it got wet, little bits of water and stuff, and where I've driven it back. Don't worry about that. Um, but the first thing, let's get this camera settled down. There it goes. For a body shop to deliver me, and this is a proper camera, in focus on the paintwork. Um, I mean, that's been really well mopped out. And it's not just been cut, you know. It's been, it's no, there's no peel in here. It's a really nice flat finish. It's virtually peel free. So it's been flattened and it's been mopped. It's been cut, but it's also been finished out. And that's really rare. Normally, I'm trying to show you a defect, a swirl, something. And if I go looking hard enough, there will be them on the car. But I don't want to go looking hard enough because I, I would want, always want to do a little finishing polish on this anyway. But the finish level on this car is just phenomenal. And let's come right in. Let this camera sort itself out. I'm going to go. I'm switching. There we go. Look at that. And it's like this all over the car. Get in focus. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Get in focus. There we go. Look at that. You're seeing the true... Ah, there. You're seeing the true finish. And that is damn impressive. I want to find a swirl just so I can show you that you're seeing the true finish of the paintwork. Um... Just phenomenal. I don't need to show you anymore. <laughs> you 
you get the idea. Um, you get the idea, as well as being able to finish out the paintwork, all of these panels have been off the car and the panel gaps, forgive the focus, all the panel gaps are perfect, all the alignment is perfect on all of the, of the panels. Even the front bonnet, which is wonky, and these are, I don't think these are original wings. I think these were swapped by the previous owner, probably because they're prone to rusting. The thick one wasn't great, but now well, the alignment's great on the panels. But even this was poking up loads, and they've managed to get it about as perfect as you're going to get that. Um, everything's been off the car. A lot of parts have been dismantled. You know, all the glass has been out. We've got a new front windscreen, unfortunately, because whenever you take these this glass out, there's a risk that it can crack, and it cracked. Um, but we've still got new glass, which isn't a problem. In fact, it's kind of quite nice. It's kind of quite nice because if you ever chip your glass, and you get certain glass companies in that are a bit of a farce, what they do is they poke through things like this. There are. They poke through. Oh, what am I, I'm going digressing here. Things like this, and it's got a little fork in it. So you can push, if I take that plastic cap off, you can push your wire through. Then you can work your way around and cut the screen out, which is not an easy thing to do. So like the flexible saw goes through, and they always, I say always, not, not everyone, they always catch the screen, the glass. So there was little bits of corrosion on this glass where it had been taken out, put back in, of course, they scratch the glass as it's been done. And then years later, you start getting corrosion around the glass. So the best people to fit glass, they won't thank me for saying this, but it's body shops because they can have a look at when the glass is out. That's the ideal time to sort it out and put it all back in. They know what they're doing. So that's great as well. The front, everything's been resprayed. Everything's fit back together properly. So you can tell I'm pretty happy. But not only am I happy, I'm slightly in awe of the level of care that's gone into this work. I'm slightly in awe of it. Um, just incredible, really, beyond what I could deliver in my, give me 10 lifetimes, and I don't think I could set up a business that could deliver me, you know, better work, really, because the inside of the car is also immaculate, and it's hard when you're doing full resprays with all the glass out to keep all the dust, sand and dust and stuff like that out of the car. So I would have forgiven a bit of mess in the car as well, but it's not, it's just all been done properly. So this is a new boot lid, and that's a new spoiler. And all the gubbins have to be, let's just sort this out as well. All the gubbins have to be transferred from one, from the old boot lid to the new one. So cautious now about how I open this. You've got new, you put new number plates on it, which is ridiculous. Um, you know, in a good way. It's just all been done properly. And all this rot, you could have, I was never gonna, oh, you can't see me here, can you? The rot that was in here before, you were never gonna get all that out and it was always gonna come back. So we got a brand new boot lid, which is, if you're gonna do it properly, we'll put the last ever boot lid, brand new boot lid for E36s, which is cool. So what have I got to do today? Oh, and also when you dismantle cars, things break, like the front windscreen, stuff like that. I know that, I've taken, everything out of this, the inside of this car and I broke stuff. Um, the door handle broke and I knew it was on its way. Um, so the old mechanism just is gone. So that they've, they've done, they fixed that as well. They've got, just gone and got a new lock. It's transferred the barrel across from the old one so it works with the keys. We fitted that and I know how fiddly these bloody door cards are and all that. I know the amount of work doing all those bits. I've done, you know, the door actuators, I've done, the glass in all these cars, the mechanisms, what's it called? The thing that takes it up and down, I can't remember. I've replaced it all. Um, not so much on this E36, but the E46, and it's a pain. So they've had to do that as well, which is just incredible. Um, now, I just wanna, is that? Oh yeah, that's all good, that's all tight. They've also had to transfer all of the electronic gubbins, the latch, the lights, the wiring loom into the new boot lid and it just looks 
phenomenal. They've had to drill this boot lid because they don't come pre-drilled and fit the spoiler. And it looks like they've located it properly, which is perfect. Just unreal. So what I need to do is put the sound deadening back in, which is this piece, which is going to go here. So, do you want to stay with me? Do you want to stay with me while I prattle on? Um, let's do it. I could do with your company. It's going to be a long video, this one. <laughs> Maybe we can just make this like, uh, you know, an informal one. So let's go back even more. Ten minutes already. Let's get the bolts. So I've got my... I'm pretty well organised in here. That's all the nuts and bolts. I've got a new stezzer as well. Look. That's an OEM stezzer. Yes, it's for a Rover. It's the same head unit as BMW, so I just need to hit that with some, some sort of way of taking off that decal, even if I have to scratch it off. I'll stick a BMW sticker over it. But that's the original head unit, and I'll get all the nice proper colours that match so the inside won't have that blow your whistle Sony thing. Sorry Sony. We're getting it. All, all I need to do next is take these alloy wheels off, split the alloy wheels. <laughs> Sounds easy, that's going to be fun. Um, chop, break the seals so with we split them open, so we've got three parts, three piece alloy wheels. We split them open, take the bolts off, split them in half, so we've got three pieces, the centers, the outer barrel and the inner barrel. The inner barrel we take to a refurbishing shop and ask them to strip, acid strip and powder coat them, but leave the face where they interface with the outer part of the barrel paint free, which they should be able to do. Um, then you put them back together, seal them back around, and then tighten them back up, do all, talk all the bolts up correctly, uh, and then put the center sections back in, which are okay. That should cost me about 200 quid, maybe, maybe a bit more, because I'm just, it's a standard powder coat. For some reason, if you take them to someone to split and refurb, there it's about a thousand pounds. And I don't understand why. Uh, I don't understand why it's so expensive, because it's not difficult labor. If the bolts break, you buy more. Um, I don't understand why it's a thousand pounds. You can polish the outer piece, but you've got great access to it, and that doesn't take that long. It shouldn't be a thousand pounds, Tom. It should be, you know, four or 500 quid, shouldn't it? Dunno, someone's gonna get upset at that, but that's just how I feel. So, again, you've gotta do it yourself, or else you're gonna have to pay a fortune could all go horribly wrong and at which stage I'll be looking for someone who knows what they're doing. Uh, what are all these nuts and bolts? What are all these nuts and bolts doing? I can't remember. I can't remember what. Oh Jesus. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Stay with it. Don't go anywhere. Stay with me. I need you. Oh yeah, just 
just wondering where a part's gone, but it's inside. It's in the door card. Confess to me, sing my song patiently. Now return me. Hello, I believe. Please confess. Confess to me. Sing my song patiently. Now return still. Oh no. How's this guy? Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. Yeah. There we go. Sing my song. Patiently. Now return. Careful now. Steady, steady, steady. Do that, that's going to align it for me, isn't it? So, yeah, really over the moon, guys. Where's my torch? Screw is too long, and yourself doing some really stupid things, so just be careful. Feels good. So yeah, today is a good day. Put all this back together slowly, calmly. Enjoy it because it's a nice feeling. This is this is like the the nice feeling. Um, yeah, if you know where those black grommets go, let me know. <laughs> oh, hold on. No, they drank. Ooh, what's that? It's been they put wax in the cavities as well. And they've put cavity wax in there in all the voids, the places where they can't paint. And that stops the rust. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Um, so pleased with the car. Incredible. Restored my faith in humanity, this is. Bye for now.